a habit of counting your blessings. Um, recently, I bought me a blessings jar where everything that I prayed for, I'll just write that prayer on the front. And then whenever God answers that prayer, I'll write it on the back. Because I noticed that whenever I'm in spiritual warfare, sometimes you can forget about what God has already blessed you with. And you can forget about the times that God has brought you out of certain things. So whenever I come out of spiritual warfare, I'll even write that down because that's a prayer too. Like, Lord, help me get through this mental torment that I'm going through so that I can continue to, you know, think straight and just continue to do and be the best version of myself that I can be and offer to this world. And so a lot of times when we get past that stage or when we get past that spiritual warfare or we get that thing that we've been praying for God to give us for so long, once we get those things, sometimes we can just forget about how long and hard we prayed for it and how God showed up and gave it to us. And not only gave it to us, but also in some circumstances, how we actually earned that thing. So a lot of times God will make you earn something because some of the things that we ask for, we don't even have the capacity to take on. I know for a fact, that's why now I, I, I do my prayers a little differently. I don't just say, Lord, give me this. Lord, give me that. I say, Lord, give me what, the, what I have the capacity to handle. Do not give me a blessing before my time. So that's why I had to go through a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, spiritual warfare to get to where I'm at today. Today, I can honestly say I'm the happiest I've ever been in my entire life. I'm the most content I've ever been in my entire life. I am just full of unexplainable joy, like the peace that surpasses all understanding. I finally know what that feels like, you know? And even before I got the um, material things that God has blessed me with, like a home and everything like that, I found that internally first. And I think that's what God wanted to show me is that your peace is not the things that I give you. Your peace is you being anchored in me. And so when I realized that first and foremost, then God rewarded me for going through and carrying my cross and just allowing certain things to happen, allowing people to say things that five years ago, three years ago, I would have never allowed. I would have been like a pit bull tearing their neck off because they lying on me. They saying this, they saying that, they're starting rumors and stuff like that. But God told me, peace, be still, peace, be still. And those three words, Although so small, so simple, meant so much, meant so much to me in a particular time. And even in a time of peace, like right now, I am in bliss. I am in the best state of mind. Everything is great. But these are those moments where Satan tries to like, okay, let me get, let me get her real peaceful. Let me let her just, you know. Now, now let me let me pause on the spiritual warfare and come at a more opportune time like he did with Jesus when he tried to offer Jesus pretty much the world. You know what I mean? And so that's why even now, while I'm experiencing this peace, I'm going to experience it because sometimes when God blesses us with, th with things, we're scared to really like enjoy the moment and cherish the moment. A lot of times when we get something, we're already on edge, like, oh, this is too good to be true. Let me not let me not take joy in this. Let me brace myself so I'm not hurt when the next thing comes. And, you know, I've done that for the majority of my life. You know what I'm saying? Even when God blessed me with something, I didn't fully, like, take it on. I didn't receive the blessing, if you will. Like, I just, I knew it was a blessing. I knew it was there, but I didn't really take full advantage of it because I was so... I had PTSD of spiritual warfare, basically, because of so many things that have been happening back to back to back. When one good thing happens, then five bad things happen. So really getting blessed used to scare me a little bit because I'm like, Lord, I'm, I, I thank you for this. But what's about to happen? What, what, did, what, is, what am I going to have to pay for? Like, what's the cost of this blessing? Because it's been a pattern. I get blessed, then all this bad stuff happened. Get blessed, all this bad stuff happened. So... Instead of seeing it that way, I decided to change my perspective and see it as like, okay, warfare and, and trials are just a part of life. And the word tells us that. And so even in that, I think he was training me when I, when I had that thought process. I think he was training me to hold on to my peace even in the midst of that so that even when there's turmoil, I can be at peace if I choose to do so. And even when he blesses me and there's nothing going on and it's peaceful in the physical then I can still enjoy that peace as well. So he wanted me to learn how to 
keep my peace in the physical as well as in the spiritual and even in the mental because i think the spiritual and mental sometimes go hand in hand for me personally so that's pretty much all i have for you guys today i hope that you enjoyed the video and i hope that you just you know took something from my experience and you know how i've been dealing with you know the blessings that god has given me i know that this is not the limit even though this is the top like this is literally everything i've ever asked for like above and beyond like i don't even know what else to pray for at this point like i am i'm here like i'm i'm fully content and i'm just overjoyed like i just don't i'm just curious and kind of excited as to what is next because every goal that i have outside of three which they're not really like like to die for goals but my main goals the main things that i've always wanted to do that i've always wanted to to accomplish i have and so anything that god does after this point is just cherries and sprinkles on top so um i hope the same for you i hope that you continue to fight through your spiritual warfare because at the end of that there is a reward for you if you do not faint you know as the word tells us and so sometimes we get tired and sometimes we get weary but the most important thing is that we don't faint and we don't give up we might fall but it's you know just get back up and keep going keep praying and stay strong even if you're limping to your victory even if you're limping to the end of that tunnel that has that light you will get there if you don't stop and if you keep god by your side thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon Bye bye.